I'm here with my good brother John and my wife and I just flew out from California to Ohio um, where we are now visiting with them and we're very excited to be here and to be sharing our lives with them. We wanted to make a video about true fellowship and what the true church is because you know where I live there are many churches and there's a church not far from where I live at all yet to have someone who actually follows Jesus and to have true fellowship is very scarce because there's so few people that actually follow Jesus and actually we we got here with um, my brothers and sisters in the Lord and there's a church right down right down the sidewalk and people may wonder why did you travel you know thousands of miles I don't know if it's thousands of miles Probably a couple how, thousand miles how far it is yes um, but at any rate it's it's a long distance and people might think there's a church right around the corner from where you live and tell them about yes. about the churches just right here yes there's a church just actually one house down from where I live and there's multiple churches in this neighborhood um, but my wife and I have yet to find any organization for sure or any people that are truly following Jesus. Um, it, they're just offering false praise and, and, and to a false God um, that they've created yeah. by their, with their own imagination. So we are just so thankful to have Brother Andrew here and his wife Mary Lee. Um, we picked him up at the airport Monday night and we've, my wife and I have just been praying to have fellowship um, with other brothers and sisters because, you know, we love Jesus. We've been set apart. He's called us out of um, the Harlot Church system. He's called us out uh, away from these places that are making merchandise out of the Lord um, that are offering false praise to their false God that they're serving. Um, so for them to be here is, is it's almost like a dream because mm -hmm. fellowship um, with others that truly know Jesus and love Jesus and obey him and practice righteousness and not sin is so rare these days that it's almost like it doesn't even the, exist. The churches, the churches are apostate and it's interesting because we have been able to send shirts out to hundreds of people that give testimony of Jesus and one of them are is like the one I'm wearing here that says Jesus is the way, not church. Amen. And you know, people will say, well, church is God's home. And they say that and they are deceived, but it is also true. But the true church is the body of Christ. They are those that actually follow Jesus and obey him. But the churches today that are buildings that are 501c3 or even the gatherings of people that get together, they are all going apostate. They are stuck in sin. We call them the Babylon church because they are stuck in bondage. And it is so rare to actually meet and be with other people who are part of the body of Christ that follow Jesus. Amen. Yeah, on the way home from the airport, we were about halfway home on, on the highway leaving Cincinnati. And I asked uh, brother and sister to look over at this church was lit up. Uh, there was a couple of them, actually. One of them was a Four Corners church, and I said, that's true. That's, you know, the Four Corners within their box. And then there was another church that um, it just looked like an entertainment center. And that's what people uh, are looking for. They're not looking for yeah. true fellowship because they don't have fellowship with Jesus. It, it's terrible. Um, what would you call that? Um, entertainment. Church is terrible entertainment. And I started thinking, you know, these people are just up on stage with their guitars and they're they're entertaining these people sitting in pews or in chairs. And it's terrible entertainment. If you're going to be entertained, you might as well go to a football game. If you want a big gathering of people, you could go anywhere, not to a church. Church yeah. is terribly boring entertainment. But yes. more than that, they are not really following Jesus. They are following a man up on the stage and it, it's apostate. It's religion. Right. God calls it dead religion. So, you know, people think that I am crazy to to travel and actually see other brothers and sisters and they don't understand the enjoyment um, that true brothers and sisters have together when they come together because they actually have fellowship with the living God, with Jesus. Amen. Amen. Yes, it's it's what's wonderful because I know that my brother um, truly loves Jesus and I know that his wife truly loves Jesus and all that I desire to do uh, is to is to be pleasing to Jesus and I know that that's what my brother wants to do is be 
pleasing to Jesus. Well, one of the things that we did want to talk about also is there is a deception with the churches, and not just um, churches that are organized church like 501c3. See, a lot of churches, they think they have to be um, accredited almost or um, approved by the government. Right. So they get their 501c3, their tax-exempt status, and, and that is one deception. But also what we have been seeing is um, a growing of home churches, and people think that is all great and wonderful, but what we have noticed, because we have also done home church and been in home church, is the home churches are just apostate because they are the same people who have left the churches because they realized the problem, but then they started another apostate church right in their own house. The problem is that they haven't truly come to Jesus. Their heart is still with church. It's not with Jesus. Mm -hmm. And the true church is not a building. It is not your house. It is not the people in the house, but it is those people specifically that are in Jesus Christ that are truly obeying him and living for him. So it's not about home church. It's not about a church building. It's not about a 501c3, but it is about fellowship with Jesus. And actually, we wanted to read you a passage um, about this because um, you can tell them about this passage, how much we get this with people telling us not to give up the fellowship. Oh, yeah. Every time, you know, my wife and I, when we go out or when I'm at work or just anywhere I go, um, the first thing that anybody asks me is, well, what church do you belong to? Or, or they ask you about your ministry or where do and, you fellowship and at? Then, and then if you say to them, we follow Jesus, we belong to Jesus, then right. they think you're crazy. And they say, you have to belong to a church. That's where God resides. It's a big deception. Right. And, you know, there's this one verse that everyone quotes over and over again to prove to you, to manipulate you, to get back to the apostate church. And it's this in Hebrews. Sorry if I cut no, you God, off. No, of you're what fine. You saying. No, absolutely, bro. But um, absolutely. this right here is Hebrews um, 10, and I want to read more than just that one section there. Right. I'm going to start in verse 19. It says, Therefore, brethren, having boldness to enter the holiest by the blood of Jesus, by a new and living way which he consecrated for us through the veil that is his flesh, and having a high priest over the house of God, let us draw near with a true heart and full assurance of faith, having our spirits sprinkled from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. Let us hold fast the confidence of our hope without wavering, for he who promised is faithful. And let, let us consider one another in order to stir up love and good works, not forsaking the assembly of ourselves together, is as the manner of some, but exhorting one another by, okay, by exhorting one another and so much more as the day is approaching. For if we sin willfully after we have received the knowledge of the truth, there no longer remains sacrifice for sins, but a, cer a certain fearful expectation of judgment and fiery indignation which will devour the adversaries. Anyone who has rejected Moses' law dies without mercy on the testimony of two or three witnesses. Of how much worse punishment do you suppose will he be thought worthy who has trampled the Son of God underfoot, counted the blood of the covenant which he was sanctified a common thing, and insulted the Spirit of grace? And, mm -hmm. and it's this only this one verse, not don't give up the fellowship that they quote, but they reject to see that the true fellowship are those that have fellowship with Jesus. They don't read the verses before it or after. They don't read the verses talking about stirring up love and good works, but they like to talk about that don't give up the assembly. But the question is, which assembly should we not give up? Mm -hmm. Are we held to not give up an assembly that is wicked, that is full of demons? Or not giving up an assembly with ourselves, with our Creator, Jesus Christ, and with those who truly follow Jesus. But those people, you know where we live, we hardly know anyone. All the churches, uh, they do not follow Jesus. And people in our family, our friends, none of them really follow yeah. Jesus. Yes, it's extremely rare to find anyone 
that truly has fellowship with Jesus because it's impossible to have true fellowship that is uncompromisingly righteous if you if that person doesn't already have fellowship with Jesus you know there's 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 it's very rare and um, we are just thankful um, that the Lord has revealed himself to us and there are some out there that are following Jesus but for the most part people are seeking to find a fellowship a fellowship of darkness that is willing that justifies to, their sin that justifies their sin because yeah, exactly um, that's what they're looking for they're looking for a social club that they can be a part of to like, to feel good about themselves that other people think how they do but you know not many people have the mind of Christ. There's a lot of people who have their own mind and right. they surround themselves with other people who think like they do. Right. But we are to have the mind of Christ Jesus. Right, right. And they'll do and they'll do a lot of good works. Um, but their works are dead because they're not doing them in Jesus. They're doing them uh, being led with their own carnal minds. Exactly. So um, so we're thankful that they other brothers and sisters do exist. I have one right here, uh, and one, and, right, yeah, here. And one right here. Amen. But we we had a uh, we have a question too. And sorry if I keep on no, cutting you off. You're not cutting me off. But, but uh, me our off. our question to people out there on YouTube or wherever you may be is: Is your fellowship really first with Jesus Christ, or are you a part of this apostate church that has come into the home churches? That has come into all the world through um, through sin because yes. they are in bondage to sin. Or truly, have you stopped sinning? Have you really repented of sin and come to know Jesus as your Lord? Is He dwelling in you? Are you is your body His church? Yes. Or are you part of this worldly sick system that is dying and is apostate and doesn't truly love Jesus? So that is our question to anyone who is listening to this video. Do you really love Jesus? Are you a part of him and his true fellowship and his true church? Or are you looking for other things where you will not find true love and, um, you know, your true relationship with Jesus? Amen, brother. Amen. Amen. I'm here with my good brother, John, and my wife and I just flew out from California to Ohio, um, where we are now visiting with them, and we're very excited to be here and to be sharing our lives with them. We wanted to make a video about true fellowship and what the true church is because, you know, where I live, there are many churches and brothers and sisters because, you know, we love Jesus. We've been set apart. He's called us out of um, the Harlot Church system. He's called us out uh, away from these places that are making merchandise out of the Lord. Uh, that are offering false praise to their false god that they're serving. Um, so, for them to be here is is it's almost like a dream because mm -hmm. fe fellowship um, with others that there's a church not far from where I live at all. Yet, to have someone who actually follows Jesus and to have true fellowship is very scarce because there's so few people that actually follow Jesus. And actually, we we got here with. Um, my brothers and sisters in the Lord, and there's a church right down, right down the sidewalk, and people may wonder why did you travel, you know, thousand any organization for sure, or any people that are truly following Jesus, um, if they're just offering false praise and 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 to a false god um, that they've created yeah. by their with their own imagination, so. We are just so thankful to have Brother Andrew here and his wife, Mary Lee. Um, we picked him up at the airport Monday night, and we've my wife and I have just been praying to have fellowship um, with other brothers. Thousands of miles. I don't know if it's thousands of miles. Probably a couple how, thousand miles. How far it is. Yes. Um, but at any rate, it's, it's a long distance, and people might think there's a church right around the corner from where you live, and tell them about... Yes. about the church is just right here. Yes, there's a church just actually one house down from where I live, and there's multiple churches in this neighborhood. Um, but my wife and I have yet to find 